Hi right, guys. I am thrilled to announce, unbelievably, it is a gorgeous, but a little bit windy day here in the end times in the Catskill Mountains uh, in the trailer by the side of the road uh, where I need to start a major lawn mowing project here to pay my rent to this kind-hearted and uh, naive Trump supporter here on the side of the road so uh, let's see just got to dive right well before I dive in to today's you decide whether we are so fucked or not headline of the day a couple of thank yous to send out to uh, kind-hearted tribes members I want to uh, thank Brother Simon for his kind donation to, I guess, my new computer fund on GoFundMe. And I want to send out a huge thank you to Brother Logan on two counts, both for his very kind donation to uh, my, I don't know whether this is my new computer fund, my tree fund whatever but thank you very much for both your kind donation to my GoFundMe and for joining the exclusive club of the Humpty Dumpty Tribe Patreon page our newest patron Logan thank you very much and to anyone else who has ever found it in their hearts and wallets to step up to the plate and uh, support my work on YouTube here and on Collapse Chronicles. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. And so, anyway, what are we going to do? I had three choices to run with. I was going to look at this article by from Rolling Stone magazine, Don't Be Fooled by fossil fuel companies green exterior this no shit sherlock story about corporate greenwashing and how big oil helped write the uh, paris climate agreement and anyway i'm gonna move that one over to collapse chronicles this excellent article on the greenwashing by big oil so you can go over there and find that. And so then I said, well, maybe we'll go over to Sub-Saharan Africa today where we see more than 500 critically endangered vultures die of poisoning in Botswana, uh, which is, starts out some of Africa's most endangered breeds of vultures have now been driven closer to the brink of extinction after hundreds were killed in a mass poisoning in Botswana. Yes, poachers hunting for ivory laced three elephant carcasses with poison, killing 537 vultures and two tawny eagles in one of the deadliest such incidents on record. Among the dead were 468 white-backed vultures, one of the most endangered type of vulture you know, on the planet. Uh, conservationists believe that the poachers deliberately targeted the birds for fear that the carrion hunters might give away their position to rangers. So anyway, uh, I could go on with this, and, but I think you get the point of how fucked the vultures are uh, as these goddamn elephant poachers. And anyway, and let's see if you can guess how many comments on a planet of seven billion people that story got if your answer was zero comments 
give yourself a gold star. But anyway, guys, it's enough doom and gloom. It is a beautiful day. It is the first weekend of summer in the Catskill Mountains, and enough about dead vultures uh, being poisoned on elephant carcasses by poachers in sub-Saharan Africa. We have some good news to share. Several versions of this story. This one coming from U USA Today. You know, I've been complimenting USA Today. With, with all kidding aside, that USA Today doing a good a job as any as reporting how fucked we are on this planet. And uh, here is one more example of USA Today talking about how we're so fucked. It's a girl, Anna D-U-G-G-A-R, Duggar. It's a girl, Anna Duggar, reveals sex of baby number six with Josh during beehive gender reveal. The Duggar family is buzzing over the gender of their incoming addition. Anna Duggar and her husband, Josh Duggar, the eldest of Jim, Bob, and Michelle Duggar's 19 kids, announced what the sex of baby number six is, quote, gonna be, you know, B-E-E, -E, announced what the sex of baby number six is gonna be with a golden beehive quoting Anna from Instagram. This is the sixth gender reveal for our little family, our little family. And it is always so exciting. Mm -hmm. Anna said in an Instagram video of one of her sons pouring water into the beehive, which exploded in pink foam. <coughs> Quote, Each child God has given us is unique and special. We all look forward to the arrival of our daughter, sister, this fall. Well, was it, was it Bill Hicks or George Carlin uh, doing the routine on, on these goddamn clueless fucking moron breeders talking about how their child, in this case, child number six, and a uh, grandchild, a good God, number 600, I guess, if Daddy was the eldest of 19 children, uh, as either George or Bill told you before they died, there is nothing special or unique about your fucking little planet-nibbling bundle of joy. Your, your little fucking child number six from the golden beehive is going to turn in to one more cog in the, in the fucking global industrial economic system. One more little consumer eating her share uh, of this planet going right on about her business doing what humans do. Each child God has given us is unique and special. Pull your head out of your clueless fucking moron ass. So, uh, okay, here is the, the, uh, the Instagram. It's a girl. This is the sixth gender reveal for our little family, and it's always so exciting. Blah, blah, blah. This morning, in a anyway, good, good God, I, I, I can't even read this shit. She's talking Martian. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Now she's going into gender reveal cakes. 
Uh, and then, of course, you, this is all a side bar to a to the bigger story that grandma the you know the one that started all this shit the one that popped out 19 uh, of those kids uh, I guess she accidentally drowned this week with grandma's passing this week this sixth gender reveal is a reminder of her love yes I am so glad we were able to share the news of our third little girl with great grandma before she went to be with Jesus. Yes, and so uh, if you want to take a wild guess, how many likes, how many thumbs up that uh, Instagram got compared to the zero on the dead vultures? If your guess was 43,000 thumbs up, 43,000 thumbs up, give yourself a gold star. Anna also used the gender reveal to pay tribute to her late grandma, Mary Dugar, Dugar, who died of an accidental drowning last week at age 78. Anna credited Mary with popularizing the gender reveal craze a decade ago after the matriarch offered to make a cake during Anna's first pregnancy. <clears throat> the couple also shares sons Michael, age 8, Marcus, age six, Mason, age one, and daughter Meredith, age three. I think they left out one of the daughters. Yes. Oh. Grandma was the one who sparked this special tradition for our family, and it sounds like a lot of other families have enjoyed the idea over the years as well. Oh God, I have no idea what to do with this strange beeping. I will ignore it. All right, okay, here is while the phone is ringing, I'm going to give, let you, uh, now you understand the video quality of Humpty Dumpty Tribe videos is going to be fucked six ways to Sunday as long as I'm in this trailer, but uh, this should give you some idea of the happy family of clueless fucking morons. This story keeps going. I'm going to share uh, one more tweet here. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap up with another treat from Anna, Anna Duggar. Uh, this is the caption to that photo of these clueless fucking morons you just saw. <clears throat> oh, this is announcing the death of Mary. Great Grandma Dugar went to heaven today to be with Jesus. What an awesome woman of faith and such a loving example of God's love. She was a true soul winner and loved everyone she met, telling them to turn from sin, go out and fuck like rabbits, and trust in Jesus for salvation. I miss her so much, and we cherish each moment we were blessed to spend together. Lots of tears being shed here, grateful for all the prayers. And if anybody wants to guess the number of likes to that one with that photo I just shared, if you're guess was 76,000 thumbs up. Give yourself a gold star. 
and if you guessed 3,277 comments, give yourself another gold star. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that warm and fuzzy feeling here on the first weekend of summer on this beautiful day. And now I need to change shirts and head over to Rolling Stone magazine where we're going to look at the article Don't Be Fooled by Fossil Fuel Company's Green Exterior coming up on Collapse Chronicles for anybody not understanding uh, corporate greenwashing and how how fossil fuels helped write the Paris Climate Agreement. We're going to let Rolling Stone explain it to you how fucked we are. And then I got to crank up that gas-sucking lawnmower and mow the grass here in the trailer by the side of the road. Bye, guys.